Okay, hi everyone. This is Yash, and uh, in this video, we'll talk about uh, what is the difference between Llama 2 and Llama 2 Chat. So, in the last video, we saw when we go to Hugging Face and when we search for Llama models, we see these series of models, and uh, some of them have suffix as chat, some of them don't. So, what exactly is the difference between uh, these two models, and uh, why do we even need these chat kind of models? So the idea is that uh, when we say we need these uh, sort of LLMs to you know solve problems for us uh, when we uh, give them like let's say a question or something and we expect uh, an answer we are really not looking at completion here we really want to uh, you know give some instructions or some some request to LLM and we expect a response for it we don't expect a completion for it like for example if we give a question as a, as an input to llm the completion can be more questions instead of just answer so that is one possibility of completion so we basically uh, you know want to talk to llm as if it's a person who will understand what we need and it will give back what we need so we kind of want to you know chat with our llm about our requests so that we can get the response uh, so uh, chat is one way uh, another, another thing what we can call it is instructions uh, you can think of it as giving instructions to an LLM and getting those things uh, you know responded to or getting those things done so this is where fine tuning comes into picture what happens is uh, we take this LLM and we uh, give it a data now this data uh, what kind of data we give is uh, like let's say the input X are the instructions and why are the responses for those instructions for example uh, instructions can be anything like uh, it can be a word problem let's say and a response can be a solution to that word problem someone has uh, five apples and uh, ate two of them how many are remaining so let's say that that can be one example here and uh, the answer can be three apples or something you see responses we can write it as a final answer or we can give the whole solution so uh, if five apples if two are eaten then then uh, it, it has to be five minus two and then three so it can be all stepwise or it can be a final answer directly however we want it so this is how we can create this instruction data set we can use this data set to you know fine tune this llm so the so the data set can be instructions or uh, it can also be uh, chat in this case so what do i mean by chat is uh, input will be some uh, you know some interaction between user and agent so uh, user will say like hi agent will say hi how may i help you something like that and then user will sort of ask like a question uh, maybe uh, what is the uh, capital of india or something and then agent will again respond with the answer so you see this is again uh, sort of like 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 instructions you can say but it's going very naturally it's not completion in in some sense it can be seen as completion in in one dimension but it's not perfect completion like there can be multiple other things which can uh, come in completion but not in this chat kind of scenario you always have to respond to the requests or the instructions that are given so uh, we can use this chat data as well to fine tune an llm uh, here the last message or whatever the answer is there that will come as the y output and this will all go in the input basically this becomes the completion right so this is how we, we can fine tune llm either using chat or instructions this is what is done in llama as well in llama like uh, ch chat model the chat uh, variation so it's we use llama and then it was fine tuned on this chat data to come up with this llama chat model the advantage of doing this is we can start chatting with it we can uh, give it instructions or uh, you know we can ask it something and it will respond to us as if we are chatting to it so what we'll do is let's go back to the code from the previous video and uh, we'll see what all problems we faced earlier and how to solve them so i've opened the code uh, we basically uh, are loading the llama 7 billion model here we were getting the completions so i'll just delete these uh, cells for now we'll only keep this function to get the response and what we had done is uh, when we run this uh, uh, completion sort of uh, 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 prompt we get this completion that she is a 2016 graduate or so and we also uh, you know experimented giving it a question what is the capital of india and we left uh, answer as blank it generated the answer 
New Delhi and it got into this uh, you know completion uh, sort of stage what we want to do is we want we want it to respond and stop right so that is where chat model will be useful because we don't want it to you know blindly keep completing the sentence so what we'll do is we'll load the chat model here what we can do is we can uh, load the chat model along with the base model so this is called the base model which is uh, not fine tuned this is the original base model and uh, the chat one is the fine tuned one so let's load both the models together so that we can see the difference uh, let's go to the hugging face one and uh, get the chat uh, model so let's take the 7 billion chat hf Uh, so we have loaded uh, both of these models. Uh, this model and this tokenizer belongs to the base model Llama 2 7B, and uh, this chat model and this chat tokenizer belongs to the chat version of 7 7 billion uh, Llama 2 model. So uh, let's create another function for resp getting response as well. Let's call it chat response. It will use chat tokenizer, and the model it will use is chat model. Right, so we'll we'll use these two functions to uh, get our comparisons. Uh, so what we can do is right away we can uh, we can duplicate the cell and we can uh, rather than calling just llama two we can call chat response. Let's see what it generates. So it generated uh, what is the capital of India? The capital of India is New Delhi. So now what is it's doing is it's generating more questions. What is the currency of India? The currency of India is Indian rupees. What is the population of India? The population of India is a pro so it's not uh, you know repeat, repeating like before, but it sort of gener started generating like random questions. So what we can do is uh, you know here we can uh, start using like more uh, better prompting te techniques now uh, since this is uh, like an instruction model or or a chat model. So we can give like we can chat with it kind of we can give instructions as well so what we can do here is uh, rather than uh, you know uh, giving it as a colon we can just leave it uh, at question itself because uh, it's it's like a chat model so we are chatting with it right so this is what we send uh, as our message and let's say what we get as response rather than completion so what is the capital of india the capital of india is new delhi and new new delhi is uh, political administrative center of okay so it's started describing more about delhi and all so maybe we can uh, you know increase the token limit and see what it says maybe it will continue uh, okay yeah so it continue discussing uh, it continues discussing about uh, delhi what we can do here is we can try more uh, you know little bit of more prompting keep answer short or something like that so so basically we are giving like uh, you know like we are chatting with it so we can ask it to do something so we said keep answer short and it, it answered new delhi and you can see it stopped here now it's not generating anything even if we give like 100 max tokens or or even 200 it's still stopping here it, it doesn't go keep on generating more and more this is how uh, you know the chat model works you might be thinking like uh, it's because of prompt engineering or changing this prompt that it stopped uh, we can try the same prompt for uh, for the base model as well when we run it for the base model it's taking some time maybe because it's generating 200 tokens okay so this is what uh, the base model generated it uh, answered new delhi and it again you know the same problem keeps repeating so even with this uh, new prompt that we had it generated this but the chat model generated this and it stopped here so this is the you know major difference uh, with the chat model that is why we should always use chat model for you know actually doing some task there is just one nuance, uh, small nuance here. Uh, when we go to the uh, chat model and when we go to its model card, we, here we can, uh, you know, sort of read through uh, what exactly the chat model is. And you can see, uh, like there is one line here which says, our fine-tuned LLMs called Llama to chat are optimized for dialogue use cases. So this is what we discussed. Like it's for like dialogue kind of uh, situation where, you know, we expect some response. For some request uh, and also uh, one more small detail uh, is there like we need to uh, use these specific tokens now since we are using uh, like this uh, this chat kind of uh, scenario uh, what happens is uh, when when the model was being fine-tuned at, at this kind of data so they used some specific format to give input 
So what they are saying here is they used some specific token called INST. Maybe it stands for instruction and slash INST. So these are the two tokens they used to indicate like user message. This is what they are saying. They used some uh, special other special tag called sys as well. So you see uh, here they are saying they used some other tag called sys as well to get expected features and performance of the chat version. A specific formatting needs to be followed, including the INST and sys tags. So we need to uh, you know include these tags. So I searched a little about these tags as to how they are used in uh, you know Llama 2 uh, prompt format something. So we can search for this and uh, we can maybe go through some articles here. This article says like we need to give this kind of prompt. So uh, we write INST and we write backslash INST and then uh, we in between those we give the actual request that we have. This is basically response if we want to include it in the prompt to give the chat history in the prompt and then we give the actual final uh, request that is there so that we get the answer for this. This is basically user message. So we can add this in our uh, code as well. It might work uh, without them since uh, you know it's like language model so uh, at more or less it works like probabilistically and it might still give you the output but uh, since it's a chat model we can still include these tags so uh, this was the question till here and we get the response here so now we can uh, we have the final prompt uh, as such to finally prompt the chat model as we need uh, there is one more thing called sys message. Uh, so this is the system message. So what happens in, in chat scenario, whenever we have a chat going on, let's say we have user agent, user agent. Uh, what we can do is we can sort of initialize this chat with a system message beforehand, even before this chat starts. So uh, what we can define in system message is uh, some prompt, like uh, how, how do you want the chat to be? Uh, so uh, how do you want the Llama to respond? Uh, to the chat so basically we can ask like uh, the system message can be you are a friendly chatbot which responds very in a very friendly way or uh, uh, you know if you don't want it to be friendly you can mention that as well in the system message so that is just a one one time thing that you mention how how do you want it to behave how do you want it to respond and then you can give your uh, queries here and then final query can come here this is all history it can keep uh, you know once once you give a request here and once you get the response you can include the whole thing again and then again the user whatever message he gives uh, this again can be sent so this whole thing is sent all over again uh, so that the chat history is also maintained and the response is uh, that the again the response that is generated is again based on this history so this is how the chat model works uh, they have given a link here see our reference in the code so if you actually go to the uh, code reference that they have so it takes you to this line so it says uh, eos reached and then it breaks so this is the breaking condition that we want which was not getting fulfilled in the base model that's why it kept generating how many ever tokens we want wanted to generate but this will not generate uh, the number of tokens but it will also stop if eos is encountered right so this is what we uh, want uh, and this is what uh, the chat model does when uh, the training is done right so when when this this kind of uh, chat is fine tuned uh, on the data it also uh, learns how to predict the eos tag so when you give this x and y data we are also including this eos tag here right somewhere in the data so it st starts learning like uh, it also has to generate eos tag and that's what happens uh, with the llama chat model so uh, now that we have our final uh, you know final prompt message let's try some more uh, questions maybe uh, basically now we can give it anything we want so now we don't really care about the chat that much so that's why we are not providing any system message or so uh, but uh, you can search a little and uh, even system messages can be provided uh, so maybe uh, write a python code so write a python code to print numbers from 1 to 10 so this is the instruction that i'm giving let's see what it generates oh, okay let's uh, maybe just print so that we get uh, good formatting you know okay so uh, it uh, generated the code sure here's the python program it generated the code and uh, 
it's it gives like an explanation as well so for loop is the sequence print function so when you run this code you should see numbers 1 to 3 printed on the screen so it gave all the explanation and all uh, we can write like maybe uh, you know without any explanation if you just need the code yeah, yeah. you can uh, maybe engineer the prompt a little in this case to get the required uh, you know desired output that you need if you just need the code you can ask it like just give me the code nothing else uh, in this case it's also printing the output uh, but it didn't give the explanation so maybe more prompt engineering is needed but uh, you get the idea now we don't have the looping issue or uh, as such but it stops logically as well at whatever point it feels uh, you know logical so this was all about chat the now you might be thinking like uh, why do base models even exist we can only uh, you know work with uh, the chat models the reason is because uh, we can also fine tune uh, the base models however we need next time if if at all uh, we have a specific use case in mind and not just chat or instructions and uh, we can uh, you know curate our own data set x and y pairs and we can fine tune these models chat models are not meant to be fine tuned as such but uh, the base models we can pick the base models and we can start fine tuning them uh, just before leaving uh, one one last point i want, want to mention is most of these open source models that are there uh, so let's say falcon or something uh, even falcon so so this instruct model so falcon 7 billion is the base one and F falcon 7 billion instruct is the fine tuned one basically now you can see like most of these open source models comes in like two variants fine tuned instruct or instruction or chat tuned uh, one version or the base version so uh, if you have a specific task in mind already and you just want to you know get the responses use the fine tune one or if you uh, just care about the completion or you just want to fine tune it uh, again in a certain way you can go with the base model that is how we uh, you know select so this was all about the differences uh, hope you like the video and uh, hope you are getting the correct answers now uh, without any looping issue uh, so that's all uh, thank you everyone uh, maybe <laughs> consider liking or sub subscribing as well <laughs> thanks bye